So, you like collecting every single color of different jelly beans. That is, um, that's, I, why'd you, why'd you click on this video? Hey guys, I'm Beth, by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to turn this into this. As you can see, we have a nice pixel art bush here, um, and, uh, I want to show you guys my process for, uh, for kind of transforming it into, uh, what we started with here with this little shape into this nice luscious bush of, of sorts, so... Um, let's go ahead and get started. There's a couple layers that I have here, so, uh, nothing crazy. I didn't name them this time, unfortunately. I should have, but I didn't, because I'm dummy dumb. Um, so the first thing we have here is obviously just a base. I talked about this in the other video that we just did recently. Um, it was about how to pixel art anything, so if you want to take a look at that, it'll be at the end of this video. Um, I basically just broke down every single tip I have for pixel art, basically. Um, the basics, anyways. Um, but yeah, so we went from this basic shape here, which is just like a solid black color just to try to get down the shape of the bush I want to do which obviously does change quite considerably as you can see um and then we we took it from there to a refined stage which I kind of added some of the things that made it look more bush like instead of like a circle like outside of target um so there we go it looks uh much better now anyway, as you can see we got some lumps we got some shapes some it looks more natural now which is good that's good um, after that, I'm trying to remember what I did after that. It, I think it's the, the, just the color. Yeah, it's just the color, the base color. So there we go. We have the base green color, which is just kind of defining, well, not really the shape because we did that, but it's just literally putting the color in. This is all that did is just put the color. Um, so this is like a color layer. And then after that, we did the, the shading. So this is where things starts to kind of get interesting a bit, as you can see. So the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to make it look like there was some sort of, um, round or shape to this so the way we did that is i i went ahead and i added a shadow underneath here um kind of just trying to follow like a leaf kind of pattern or some kind of bushy pattern um of something and you can see it, we kind of had this little wavy line through here and then on top of that i add, i decided to add these shadows underneath some maybe some hanging pieces of the bush just to make it like there's some kind of um detail up here in the top section um, and then we're going to do the next one, which I believe is just darker. Yep. There you go. It's just literally darker shading of what we already shaded. So, and then we have highlights up here at the top. So I dropped the color down a little bit more. Um, just, uh, darken it a little bit and desaturate a little bit at the same time. Maybe add in a little bit more, um, yellow, maybe a little bit more blue, depending on what side you're going to go to. I added a bit more blue, I believe for shadows. Shadows always look good with a little bit more blue. So if you have a color that looks like this, um, for instance, if you go ahead and oh, for like this, sorry, for instance, and then you drop it, the drop the color down, desaturate a little bit, always pull it to the right for some some blue tones in there because if you pull it to the left it looked like uh like look like this and that's not exactly the most attractive color between the two as you can see so the top one is blue the bottom one added some um yellow and those are not necessarily the best looking colors as you can see if i were to if i were to go if i were to go ahead and uh fill that in you can see it look it, it would look like that which is like um not good looking so yeah <laughs> um but yeah that's just a quick breakdown of colors where is this at there it is. All right. Um, and then I added some darker colors here, just in some random areas for the shading of the little blobs. Um, and then up at the top, I just added a little bit of yellow, lightened it, um, and saturated a little bit for the highlights, which is just super simple highlights. Just really, really quick and easy up here at the top, kind of defining some areas that I wanted the the, the lighting to be hitting, I suppose. So it kind of like the light is coming from like maybe st straight down, like the sun or Something like that. Obviously, it's a, the sun. It's a bush. What am I talking about? Okay. Well, that's enough for me today. Um, next layer, super simple. I just added some um, some fun little detail things, which is just some branches sticking out and a couple flowers. So this is super easy. Obviously, we just have a little brown color, and then we just darken a little bit, add in like a, a second color to make it like it's like a stick or something. And then uh, I added a couple of shading pieces on these to kind of make it like it's poking out of the uh, bush there. There we go. Um, I think for the flowers, I think I had them as blue. I think actually they were white first. They were white before I made them purple, but the pinkish, purplish Barbie kind of. But um, but yeah. So then I added these, which is just super basic. Um, three different colors. Got this main color right here, which is the nice pink, and then we have this darker color, 
like that and then we have the lighter color as well so those are the three colors that we have there for that and then in the center we have a darker 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 color like that which looks really good so um, that's all we did for that um, and then I do believe the last layer is adding yep is adding um, this little piece here we go ahead and hide all these this little piece right here we added um, some outlines over top of the the branch and if you can't tell all the outlines are green so as you can see these out the oops, these outlines are all black you see those outlines are all solid black but then i went ahead and i made them these ones green so they fit in a little bit better a little easier to look at um which is super super cool and then we have like i said the darker shading color on top of that so the two colors we have for the outlines is this dark green color and then this even darker green color there which is kind of just to accent a couple of areas where i thought the line art was a, a getting a bit too boring so like for instance right here i added some right here right here just in some areas where I thought there wasn't enough happening. Um, so there we go. And that is literally all that I did for the bush. It's super, super simple. Super easy bush tactics. Crazy amount of easy. Look at that. Wild. But yeah, you could do a lot of uh, cool things. You can do like some leaf textures. I wouldn't do that for this specific, um, for this specific uh, piece. But I would do this in general. Like just in other times, like we can make some leaf shapes. Something like... Um, like this but as you can see it's getting it's being kind of overpowered a little bit because there's a lot of stuff going on already so i wouldn't necessarily do that for this i mean you could probably get away with it actually wait wait this looks, looks not half bad okay wait we can maybe do this so we add some leaves i'm just doing like two um squares and then putting them on top of each other like that so wait that looks, that looks good holy moly okay nice okay well we did this on camera this is this is that's fun um all right so as you can see that is probably all that i'm gonna do what does darker ones look like what is can i get away with doing that nah that's weird all right um i think we need one up here there we go maybe one here um Okay, one there. I need a one dance. All right, and then one more right here. That looks so cool. Wait, what the heck? Wait, that actually looks really cool. Okay, well I'm proud that we've just come up with that randomly. That's pretty sweet. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. That's a nice little cool add i didn't even i wasn't even planning on doing that but that looks really sweet but um that gives so much detail that we needed but um but yeah so i'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next tutorial hope you enjoyed today um if you did always make sure you let me know down below so i know that you guys want me to do more of these kinds of videos or else i'm just be like they hated it i'm not gonna do it again i'm joking um but yeah i'll see you guys and girls in the next episode next video um but yeah have a fantastic rest of your day or night wherever you are i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye